Can I catch you that Gary Chef Record, a cooking show, guys? Amazing to be in the kitchen giving your favorite recipes and ideas. Anyway, I have some chicken right here, which I just washed off into some lemon juice. And I'm always marinating my meat, and I'm always showing my fans them how to marinate your meat and put it down and cook it wherever you like to cook it. You can put it into your fridge or your freezer, your option. Okay. If you want to marinate some chicken now and put it down for at least next month in your freezer, take it out before the day before you're gonna cook it. Allow it to slow thawed. All right. Now I'm I have some fried chicken style cut off. I remove the skin and I'm gonna be marinated because I like to marinate my meat and put it down. A lot of people say okay, yes, you can marinate your chicken and cook it instantly, but. When you marinate your meat and put it down for a day before, the flavor, you get more flavor from it, okay? I know that 100%. Yes, you can cook your chicken and marinate your chicken and cook it instantly, but you will never get the taste and the flavor like when you cook it and put it down for at least two or three days. Or put it in your fridge and make it get the soak. You know what I mean? There's a different thing, 100%. Now, I'm gonna be showing you the Instagram. Go over there. I just post a picture with the recipes, uh, what I use to marinate my chicken, and also follow me on my Facebook page, Chef Ricardo. Thank you so much for tuning in. And you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm always marinating my meat, and I'm always doing the video to keep you guys updated because every day someone new come on. Okay, and not only that, a lot of people marinating their meat and just using like salt and pepper and say, okay, yeah, now. We want to give those person, you know what I mean, the love which we are sharing right now. How to marinate your meat and put it down and make it soak. Let the flavor, the taste, the texture, you guys will love this one. My name is Chef Ricardo. I try my best to give you some of the most beautiful recipe them in the world. And, you know what I mean, share my love with you guys. So, don't forget, merchants that in the description box. And my website is in the description box. You can go over where you can get my garlic press a lot of people keep asking the garlic press chef ricotta cooking guys they go on you just google chef ricotta cooking go on my website and you can support chef ricotta with the garlic press we got a new knife coming out soon we will see the new knife which we're going to be using because that knife is a very unique knife for you guys where you can cut up like certain things at home like you want to cut up a white onion you want to cut up garlic you want to do certain things at home you can cut fruits and all these things so it's gonna be coming really handy for you it will be on my website all right thank you so much for your support for your time watching the video and leaving you in i mean the love in the description box it is amazing so yeah nice and lovely stay tuned don't go here yeah. anyway chef Ricard. i just washed off my chicken with some you can use a lemon or white vinegar to wash your meat all right now the first thing i'm gonna do i have some fresh thyme i'm just gonna simple pop on the fresh thyme on it so this is the chicken right here which i have i get the skin removed chop out the backbone clean it up nicely and all these things so i got three cove of garlic which i'm going to be using nice one all right now as i said a lot of people are asking for the garlic press and this is a way of the garlic press work just gonna do it, just chop that on it. All right. Nice one. Now I have some spring onion, which I'm going to be using. medium-sized white onion That's the white onion, the garlic, the spring onion, and fresh thyme on it. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a teaspoon of the natural blending season. Here it is. 
put another teaspoon because this one doesn't spicy all right it's just mild it's really nice it's a very very nice natural blending season we're gonna put a tablespoon of all-purpose season two tablespoon that's the all-purpose season I'm using all right you can get those season in the local shop or your supermarket to buy now we're gonna simply put a little bit of just a little bit of chili flakes and this one is just some dry herbs in it you don't have to worry yourself about this one because I know this one is very hard to get but if you are in London you can get that one fermenter seed we're gonna put a few fermenter seed love my fermenter seed a little bit of chicken season A little bit of paprika oh this is finished wow I didn't even know all right guys now that is it so far and as I said the natural blending season have everything in it what you're looking for honestly everything what you're looking for is in the natural blending season all right and not only that if you are doing barbecue with chicken, you can simply put a little bit of barbecue sauce on it. But as I say, if you are doing cat, um, you know what I mean? Because I may put this one on the barbecue grill. But also, if you're gonna be doing like a fried chicken style, do not put the barbecue sauce on it. But I may put this on the barbecue grill. So that's why I'm gonna do it like this. All right. All right, look at that beautiful and fantastic as you can see for yourself and this one doesn't spicy at all you know I don't make it too spicy because if you want to give your kids then you don't want to give them too spicy you just want to give them you just want to have a little bit of mild all right but look at that that is just beautiful and nice all right and that's one of the best way you can marinate your meat at home all right no to be honest it would do with a little bit of salt to be honest because i didn't use a lot of these you know so i'm gonna go this is proper sea salt all right Really, really good sea salt, guys. Honestly, nice one. All right. Yeah. So, as I said, that's it so far. The chicken looking good. Good marinated chicken, and ready just to put on the barbecue grill. You know what I mean? As I said, a lot of people when they're marinating their meat, they only put in salt and pepper. We want to stop that. You know what I mean? We want you guys to have a nice, lovely, you know what I mean? Like proper chicken where, you know, everyone will definitely love it. So that's why Chef Ricardo does share his love towards this beautiful chicken recipe. And hopefully you guys like this one. But as you can see for yourself, it is proper marinated and you're looking good it's very very looking good as i can see so far the flavor the texture and everything is amazing all right i just want to take the time out to say you know what i mean thank you for one of you guys for watching stay tuned we've got a lot more recipes and a lot more ideas will be coming from chef ricardo and the team please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend as i can see the recipe looking amazing really fantastic lovely and nice all right yeah if any question, leave a comment, leave it in the description box. And let's show Ricardo and get back to you guys. All right. Yeah, we have a lot more recipe will be coming. And as I say, yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned and I'll see you next time in the kitchen with more recipe. Bye bye. Red brim fish, I'm going to marinate up some lovely red brim fish. First of all, what we're going to do is 
put some fresh Jamaican thyme on the red brim. A lot of people might not want to do this when I do stay, but that's Chef Ricardo, you know what I mean? Red brim. Alright. And we have on two cups of garlic. We're gonna just simple chop them up and put them on it. For that, I'm gonna wash out my garlic press. I got the garlic press, guys, but I mean, I'm just gonna just simple chop that. Put it on it. Lovely. I got two spring onion. This one is going to be a very quick and easy one for you guys to go at home, you know what I mean? How to marinate your fish and all these things. Because the thing is, a lot of people when they're marinating their stuff, they're just using salt and pepper. So I want to get it clear to them that they can add a little bit more ingredients. I'm going to use half of a white onion. You know what I mean? I can use a lot of things on it. And it still come out lovely and nice, you know what I mean? Come on guys. Pimenta seed. I'm gonna put a few pimenta seed on it. You know. Um, I got some all-purpose season. I'm gonna chuck a teaspoon on it. A little bit more. Yeah. Don't worry about this one. This is the chef card and a bit of mix dry season one I'm gonna use. God, this one is very hard to get. Jai flakes, chili jai flakes. Put a few on it, not much. Little bit of paprika. That's finished. Chef got a natural blending season. Put a large teaspoon, tablespoon. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong with natural blending season, guys. I love the blending season. Little bit of salt and it. Last one. And also some grounded pepper. Wow, this one now work. Maybe not believe in that thing still, but let's use it because it's happy. So I'm now I'm gonna use it. one yeah so what you don't want to do you don't want to use your hand because it's fish and you got a lot of bone just use a spoon and marinate like a fish like this you know what I mean yeah I'm telling you guys it's good to do this at home marinate up your stuff and then you know yeah nice one got it you can fry it, you can bake it, you can do anything you want to do with the fish right now. Once you marinate it up like this. Yeah. And the fish looking much better. See that? That's exactly what I talk about. You just want to have a little bit of colour on the fish. You know what I mean? I wash it off into some vinegar. Yeah, so that's, that's wicked and nice. Simple. An easy one, all right? Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Show. As I said, it's just a little bit of quick tips and ideas for you guys. You know what I mean? This is some red brim fish, and you guys definitely can do this at home, all right? Yeah, man. If you got fish season, use the fresh season because I don't have any fish season. I just use a little bit of paprika, a little bit of all purpose on it, and that's it looking good really really nice and lovely and simple look at that beautiful look at the color and the whole texture of it is fantastic and an amazing all right if you guys like the recipe give me a thumbs up subscribe and leave your comments tell a friend and a friend tell a friend all right my name is chef ricardo i try my best 
to give you some of the most beautiful recipe then in the world. So 100%, I will see you next time in the kitchen with more recipe from Chef Ricardo on the team. All right, so yeah. Please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. Subscribe is very important from Chef Ricardo. See you next time. Bye bye.